All right, I just wanted to show you a little bit of how you could use decimals uh, to determine uh, a function, a sign function for some data. So I've typed in some data here. I forget what the, all the numbers mean, whether it's uh, hours of sunlight. I think it might be hours of sunlight, something like that. Anyway, um, if I wanted to um, uh, figure out the sign function for this, I could just type that in. So I could type in y is equal to sine of x. I see at the bottom there it's a little bit too low. Maybe I could bump up the number, like maybe I'll add 12 to it. That bumps it up so it's sort of in the right range. Amplitude's wrong. Maybe I'll change the amplitude. Oh, well, that's a little much. How about 4? Sure, around in there somewhere. And then I could go and I could change the period and the phase shift and get it close. And you could do that. But um, Desmos can do that linear regression for you, as can a graphing calculator. So what you do there is you're using the, um, the tables from up here, so the x1 and the y1. So I'm going to say y1, okay? And instead of using equals, I have to use a tilde. That's, uh, where's the tilde? That's that guy. Okay, uh, so instead of equals, I use that. And then I just type in the base function, for uh, a sine graph. So it would be A, and then sine of uh, B, uh, B, and then I have to put a bracket in, and then X minus C, and then close the bracket, close that bracket, plus D, plus D. There. Oh, now X, I should have put X1 from, like, from above there. Let me put a 1 there. There, there we go. Okay, so take a look at that green line. Let's get rid of the blue one. That was the guessing one. So you look at the green line, and that follows, it, it creates a function that follows those points fairly closely. And so I can look down here, and it tells me what the A value is, 3.97. That's close to 4. Uh, the B value, from that I could get the period, 2 pi divided by B, of course, is the period. I get the C value, so the phase shift is 3.6, 3.58, however you round it. And the vertical translation is 12.17-ish. So I can use that, and I can use that on a test. It works in test mode uh, to help me determine the um, function using regression of any data. Okay, hopefully that uh, helps you as you're studying and as you take the test.